For most of us here, it's just satisfaction enough that we've taken on a new customer, we've supplied them with some beer, and they like it. And they phone us back and say, yeah, we like it, it's selling really well. And that's more than enough for me. We had to overcome a lot of bad press from the previous um, owners, uh, but I think we've done that quite successfully. And we've ended up you know, becoming an award-winning brewery. So within the space of 18 months, I think that's quite an achievement. The company's coming together now, I think over the last two years since we restarted. Uh, since winning the three gold stars, the production of Blorange has gone up. Uh, we've introduced new ales, which are going really well. It's because we've moved into the Blaine Gwent area, and we're the only brewery in Blaine Gwent, um, I hope that uh, more pubs and outlets will stock our beer, and that we'll get more sales and more recognition in the Blaine Gwent area for our beer. Yeah, and we are an artisan brewery, which means that all our, prod all our products are made by hand. Uh, there's very little machinery involved in the process, apart from obviously what you can see here behind me. We make the beer by hand, we bottle it by hand, we cap the bottles by hand, we label them by hand, and we package them by hand. The typical day for myself is I get in about seven in the morning at the brewery. Uh, I get the green together, ready for a brew. If I'm not brewing that day, I would be bottling or maybe labeling. The challenge, I suppose, that's favorite, my favourite part of working, you know, it's always a challenge, there's always something, um, some decisions to be made and something to do, things go wrong but also, you know, things go right and that's the good times then. There's a lot of poverty um, and economic inactivity in this area and we wanted to bring something into, the, in, into this environment really and hopefully by building we'll be able to take more people on in the future and then put back into the community. Winning the Great Taste Awards has actually made quite a difference to us. Uh, we have got a feature in the little magazine that comes through explaining about the Blorange, the beer that won, and this year we probably will be entering more beers into it. Bittersweet, quite poignant, wish Dad was here to see it because I think he would have been really made up. But um, we entered the Great Taste Awards, we didn't really expect anything. We know that we've got a good product, but we didn't really expect it to do anything in our first year of entering. Um, we entered the Blorange uh, Pale Gold Nail, and we came back, we had three gold stars, which is the highest accolade that the Guild of Fine Foods give out. I think there were 8,600 and something entries last year in 2012, and out of those, only 120 got the three gold stars. Out of the 120, only eight breweries and three in Wales uh, managed to get that accolade, and that put us in the top 75 products in Great Britain for food and drink. So that was something that we were extremely proud of.